Yeah, <laughs> what up? All right, guys, so today we're back with another video. We're in the garage. Got my Harley flag up. Quick little video today, guys. We're gonna be swapping out these two front turn signals from the uh, amber color to the smoky gray with the uh, LED inside of them. Um, these are the same ones that I had on my Iron 883. I haven't tried them on yet, so we're gonna see right now exactly if they're gonna fit. Um, and if they do, it's gonna be awesome because that means that I don't have to spend money on them. So that's what gonna be swapping out today. Um, I eventually want to swap out these in the back to some LEDs as well, and I want to change uh, the housing to some red lights. Um, I want to keep color in the back. I just want to black out the whole front. Um, I'm pretty sure it's gonna give it a much much nicer look, especially with the halo LEDs that I had before. They look super sick. So we're gonna go ahead and start. Um, real simple. All you're gonna need for this is a flathead screwdriver to pop these little bad boys out um and if you guys want an in-depth review of how to change these housing lights out they're pretty much the same for any bike uh well for any harley um i will link the video at the end of this that's when i swapped them out on my iron 83 and i was very very detailed on that step by step i'm going to try to be as detailed as i can in this one as well uh, but that one's like really in depth, so I'll link the video at the end for you guys. Uh, real quick, if you're new to my channel, this is my beauty. This is my new bike, my 2020 Lowrider S. If you're into any mods, if you're into Harleys, anything of the sort, you are in the right place. So smash the like button, subscribe. All right, guys. So here we have the dark housing lights that I was talking about, and the LED lights right here, which we're gonna swap out real quick. So this is very, very easy. On each light, you're gonna have this little nut right here, which you're gonna be able to put in your uh, flathead in. And you're just gonna stick it in there. Oh, and it pops right out. Let's see if these are the same size. I think they are the same size. Pretty good. All right, so for the bulb inside, all you gotta do is push in and turn, and it'll come right out. Real simple. All right. Now, real simple for this as well, you're gonna see that these have these little grooves on the side right there, these little nooks. So you're gonna try to play around with it because there's uh, different sections in there where they can go. So wherever they fit is where they're gonna go. So that one's not working, I'll turn it. I'm gonna push in and turn, that one's not taking it. This one here, push in and turn, uh, that one should work. There we go. Then all you're gonna wanna do is Twist this around so the wires could hide back in there. You should be doing this with maybe some gloves or anything, so you don't want to get any uh, grease on the lighting. But I'm just gonna take my chances here and do it. So now that you have your LED light in there, all you want to do is take your cover, put it over it, and close it up. Just pop it in there. You see? Very good. Okay, now we got a blacked out light, baby. I'm gonna show you guys the difference real quick of how that looks compared to the amber light. Got the amber light right here on this side and the smoked gray on that side. Looks amazing. Next up I wanna do is I'm probably gonna get these uh, levers switched out. I want the black one so everything in the front can be all blacked out. Such a big difference, man. So real quick, guys, you're gonna take your flathead screwdriver, you're gonna put it right there in that little nook, as you can see. Pop it in or out, whatever works for you. So the same thing with this light bulb, you're gonna push in, turn to the left, it'll pop right out. Put that one there on the floor. We're gonna take our other LED. Really can't wait to see how these look once I put them on. It's okay if they look like a little loose because once we put the uh, the cap on, it'll push it back and it'll be fine. But try to twist it as much as possible because it'll make it tight and uh, it'll it'll uh, stay in its place pretty much. Put 
gonna put this on, snap it on there. All right. Now what you wanna do with this? Oh wow, what a big difference. All blacked out. <laughs> now what you wanna do with this first now, uh, this is from the uh, directions, is that you wanna turn your bike on and then you wanna put your blinkers on. Oh, let me see how they look first. Wow. Wow. <laughs> nice. I like it. We're gonna to wanna to put our blinkers on real quick just so it could uh, synchronize with the bike. Just for about a minute or so. Man, what a difference. So these are very different. Um, a lot of them out there, they all just stay the same color. The white LED blue-ish light that it brings. And it'll only flash that color. This one's a halo, so when it's white cancel that out you see the halo light around it and if I want to turn let me put on my right turn signal it'll just stop and you only see the yellow the amber light on cancel that out very cool very very nice nice little touch and look guys this for me this mod right now was basically free because like i said before these are the same ones that i took off my iron a83 so goes to tell you any parts you have from your bike guys if you're going to upgrade to a new bike within harley davidson keep your parts because most of the time they will fit um well some will some don't but in this case perfect scenario they fit my bike there we go pretty nice all right guys it's gonna be it like i said before if you're new to my channel like comment and subscribe hit that bell button it's gonna notify you anytime i upload any new videos 